Hi guys and welcome to beginner's do while loop tutorial. So let me show you guys how this works. Supposing I change the value in here to 9 and there we go. There. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you guys straight into C sharp development environment and we put one of these together. I'm going to click on next now. And I'll just call that CS underscore do while loop and click on create. Okay, the development environment is ready. I'm gonna go straight into the toolbox and let's grab a plane or the panel and I'm just gonna copy that, paste that here. There we go. Now both panels that I have in there, I'm gonna come right to the properties and let's change the property of the border style I'm going to change that to fixed single there we go now back into the toolbox I'm going to add the following component there let's look for label we have a label here and we also need a text box and a list box we have a list box and we then need text box Come right down here we should be able to get one of those we have a text box there and finally a button there we go now let's change the size of this very button to something much more readable we're going to make that about 36 make that bold 36 there come right down here and let's change the components on it, or let's change the data on it to do I loop. There. I'm also going to get it centered. There we go, centered, ready. Now let's give it a name, change the name to BTN do while loop. There. okay done now the text box and the label let's change the font size as well to something much more readable we we'll make that about 26 and that's it now for the text box we change the data on the text box oh no we change the variable name txc do while loop now the label let's say enter number enter a number and right here let's change our list box to LSTE do I loop there the background I'm going to change the background to cadet blue you don't have to do this but if you want that'll be fine so select the panel again and change the panel back to the default color and that is control there we go now all that we need to now do is to put together some codes in the first place if we look at do while loop what is do while loop you see the do while loop is a variant of the while loop this loop will execute the code the code block once before checking if the condition is true then it will repeat the loop as long as the condition is true that is what do while loop is all about so I'm going to double click on this button there and right inside this very button I'm going to first of all declare a variable I'll call that I and this very I I'm going to initialize it with the value 1 now enter your do this is how we normally do it enter curly braces this is how it's done in C sharp okay. and I'm going to now say LST do I loop dot items dot add that is the command to add value straight into the list box what am I adding I'm only just adding the I and right underneath that I'm going to say I plus plus which means the I should be incremented and right below the coil braces you then enter Y 
i put that in a parenthesis y i is less than let's say 13 we want you to do as follows that's all so what we happen in here is y i is less than 13 we will populate the list box with number 1 to 12 so let's try that out click on run there we go if I click on the do I look button now you see that we have 1 to 12 I think I would have to increase the font size of that so let's come back to the properties of that and get it increased come in here make sure it's selected come right down here and let's just increase that to something much more readable maybe 20 there now run it one more time so that you guys can see what's happening there we go 1 to 12 is generated okay now that's how we use the do while loop but that's not all the bonus to these very particular activities for us to be able to convert that let's convert that into a multiplication timetable so first of all let's get this one centered whatever text in there so double click on that do while loop again and right underneath here i'm going to create another variable that i'm going to call j and j let's say j will be equals or like j to convert whatever dot to int 32 so whatever we have inside the text box txt do while loop the text we want it converted to an integer because the text box only accept characters so that is taken care of now the next thing we now want to do is you see this j come right in here inside the do while loop list box itself enter the plus sign the plus sign means bring together or you can call it concatenation enter speech mark and the speech mark we have the plus sign the multiplication sign then get it concatenated again and what we are now concatenating is the j okay now after that we now also want to concatenate equals there we go guys now come right in here enter whatever you want to multiply let's say we multiply in 10 there and that's how you create your own do while loop in c sharp and please do subscribe to this channel and you can also join to become a member of the channel and thanks for watching Bye for now.